live from the TFCon hotel room. Here is the Glacier Lord Tusker video review. Pick this up today. They sold out in like 10 minutes on the floor. They will be available for pre-order on Vans Project Core and maybe a couple other websites soon-ish. But uh, they were here today at TFCon, and they are great. This is Glacier Lord. He is in a much bigger box than the others. I did not bring the box for the others, so you're just going to miss out on the size comparison of the box. But it's a pretty nice box. It's much more faded, uh, fake faded, than the other. Uh, there's some... Some of the, the cells from the animation they teased a while back, along with the combined Glacial Lord up here, uh, is, is there and go. Um, and on the back, you've got, there's the core, and there's the robot, and here's the poster with some mysterious things that I'm not going to tell you what I know about. Um, so anyway, here we go. As you open them up, uh, like just like every other box, um, he's in the styrofoam. Just like that. He does indeed come with the little tiny dude, the tiny, tiny dude dude. He's cool. Um, here is the, uh, the chest piece slash back shield and all that. And you get Tusker himself if he comes out. He's very hard to, you have to kind of shake him out of the styrofoam, but there he is. Um, and he, you see he's an elephant. This piece right here, or a mammoth, I guess, woolly mammoth, plugs in right here. And there he is in this mode. He's, he's chunky, he's stocky, he doesn't have a whole lot of uh, articulation. He says his Tusker here, or his trunk, that's what I'm looking for, can move. His tusk can move up and down so he can gore, uh, anybody who may be annoying you. Um, he comes with his little dude right here. Get him out of the package. And, uh, and right up here, this chest piece, you, you flip open the shield, this little shield piece, and, uh, he just plugs right in up here. So he can also have his little Dino Rider, Beast Rider mode like the others. Um, and that's really about, about all there is to, uh, Tusk, uh, to his Mammoth mode. He's very cool, um, very sturdy, but not a lot of, uh, posability because he's supposed to be that G1 brick. He looks really cool. I really like him, uh, just the look of him, and, and, and this, and the, the prototypes on the floor had this peachish color being much more pink, and it actually is more of a pale pink light peach color. It's actually, it actually goes really well with with all the bits and pieces. And then transform into robot mode. You want to go ahead and pop off the uh, the back piece here. Uh, flip this piece back up to fill in that hole. Uh, pop this guy out, and you bring the. Uh, there's a little tab here on the ears that pegs into the side of the head. So you bring that up and you just snap that into place, just like that. Flip the tusks up, unpeg the trunk, and straighten it out. Now, once you have this straightened out, you can take the gun from Fangro and the club from Tail Club and peg them on, and that is going to be his giant combined mode rifle. That actually is the entire weapon. Like it, it looked like there may have been like some of the other weapons might have combined with it, but no, that is uh, that's what forms his rifle right there. So you come back here, uh, and you got this. Uh, you bring this whole piece comes up and around, and uh, then the, you bring the uh, the legs here down, just like that, and flip the little gray feet out of the body, like that. Then the arms, are we still in, we're, we are still in frame, this is actually a nice little setup. Bring these down, bring them down like that, you can see now there are his fists, just like that. He is still sitting a little back heavy back here, because you want to take this and push it all the way up and fold it down against his back. And there's the main core of his body. Uh, this can plug in to his, uh, there's a little uh, peg right here that flips out and plugs right into his shoulder as a shield, uh, just like that. Um, you can have him he, oh, before we, without the combined mode weapon. You can actually uh, just by itself. Let me get this gun off of here. Uh, there's his trunk, and that can just be his personal rifle, just like that. So he's got the shield and the rifle. Little guy goes folds in half and pegs in right up, or plugs in right up here. Uh, you may have to lift this piece up just a little bit to get him to slide all the way in. And honestly, he doesn't, even with that tiny head, he doesn't look horrible with that tiny head. It's kind of cool. Um, but then to get the final mode, you just flip that up to make his face. And there is Tusker in robot mode. Um, he does have a little bit of a backpack here with, uh, with the mammoth bits. Uh, you can if you want to uh, rotate this up. But uh, that's going to be really more for later. You do want to have it down like this for, uh, for his standard robot mode. And he's really cool, and and uh, he's got the uh, he's got some articulation here, the shoulders, ratchets, uh, hinge elbows here, uh, hinges here, and hinges at the knees. The legs uh, peg together, but they can be separated just like on uh, uh, Tail Club. So yeah, there he is. I mean, he does come with a sticker sheet. It's in my pocket. Let me get that out. Um, God, I've been carrying it around in my pocket all day. Uh, some of them are pre-applied. I did already stick a couple of them on there, but you can see there are still some stickers left on the sheet that I haven't stuck on there yet. But uh, there, and then the instruction sheet on all of how to do his robotized fusion and all that, the standard G1 sheet. Um, and if, 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 what's kind of cool is if you open it up on the actual combiner mode pictures, 
to make the core, you get a little sneak peek of Mega Zero and Razor Spike, the other two limbs, which is which is nice. Now to make his core mode, you pop this off. I uh, this head actually stays up. You pop this off, and then you take the legs, and this is where it gets cool. You flip the arms up right here at the elbow. The legs come forward at at the hip, and then bend down at the knee. Flip the feet up, and then they're actually geared here. Lift, this, lift these up a little bit. Uh, you open these up, and you can see there's some gears up there, so they, they open up together and uh, bring them around like that, and then fold these back down like this. And then this piece right here, you rotate around. You go ahead and bring these uh, down over the shoulder. Uh, they unpeg them right there and snap right here. And then this piece, the, the, the bottom part, you bring the tusks up, and here's his mammoth head. And the lower half, you slide forward, and then it folds down. Uh, you flip this, this face piece up, and the whole thing folds down over robot mode head. And then you pull the, the mammoth tusk down. And then you take the chest shield, flip that piece up, and there's a couple of peg holes right here in the green. And then down here, and then they match up with some peg holes here on the shield. And that pegs on right there. And then you've got the core of Glacial Lord. And it's kind of cool. Again, we'll make, we'll make the combined weapon here. Just like this. And what's really, really neat is we know that uh, Tail Club comes with the uh, the back plate that forms the, the foot here on him. Tusker comes with the fists for the combined mode. And they actually store right up here in the upper, in the elephant legs. You just pop them out like that. And uh, on either side. Um, and then that, that pegs into uh, whichever we're using uh, Fangro since that's how it's described on the package, but it just pegs right in there like that. And you can snap them in, oh, like that, that thing tends to rotate, you gotta hold that stuff, and then peg in tail club, and there is, okay, he's, 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 I'm gonna get him all set up here, because he can stand on one foot, and put his uh, weapon in his hand. Uh, why, why are you doing this to me now? Like earlier I, got, I had him standing just fine. Oh, there we go. Oh, he, he leans a little bit, but you can't, ah! So, like, of course, now that I'm trying to show it off, there we go. He's leaning a little bit, but there's uh, three-fifths of, of Glacial Lord right there. So, yeah, I'm um, uh, waiting for the other two, uh, Razor Spike and Mega Zero. They're uh, Wooly Rhino, and uh, somebody told me the name of it, but, like, a, a basically a giant deer, prehistoric deer. Um, so, yeah, really cool. Like, this product is it's so much fun, and it, there's so many little modern touches in, like, a retro figure. Um, you're really going to do yourself a favor and, and pick this guy up because he's really, really cool. And, um, and like I said, they should be going up for pre-order on Fans Project Core soon and possibly a few other sites. Keep an eye out because they are almost finished. And uh, they have the combined mode on display down in, in the uh, dealer room today. And it's really, really aces. So uh, there you go. There is uh, Fans Project's retro future most wildest combat team in the universe. Uh, there's the review of the Core Robot Tusker.